the American moon lander Odysseus fires up to set off into space. Its aim is to bring a camera and newly developed NASA measuring equipment to the moon. Its destination is the lunar South Pole. There, Odysseus will seek out a spot to land softly on the moon's surface. A new race to the moon is on. Satellites have discovered water on its poles, the most important resource for human space travel. This race is not driven just by scientific curiosity. It's a quest to develop the best technology, discover resources and to secure future markets. NASA wants to build a station in the moon's orbit and outposts on the surface. The space agency is working together with European, Japanese and Canadian partners. Many US companies are hoping for lucrative contracts and income from space tourism. China, Russia and India also have moon tourism in their sights. In order for any of this to happen, it's mission critical to find a way to land safely. But this is no easy task and many have failed. Russia's Luna 25 mission crashed into a lunar crater. And Peregrine, the first commercial American moon lander, suffered a fuel leak and self-destructed over the Pacific Ocean. Japan's slim robot actually landed upside down. After a failed attempt, India was able to put a robot and a vehicle on the moon. Meanwhile, China was the first nation to land on the far side of the moon. If Odysseus' mission is successful, the US will be able to claim the first commercial moon landing. NASA also plans to build its new human staffed station there, in the darkness of the lunar south pole.